Greetings and salutations, the internet, once again, and welcome to the Doghouse. I am your host, Cuttlefish57. And I'm Draconix, back again for some R6, man. Ah, yes, it's going to be a wonderful day indeed. For today, facing off, we have Ferris Crimson versus Purdue University. Will this be as interesting as last week's game? I hope so. I certainly hope so. Our maps today are Coastline for number one. The second map will be Border. And if it comes to it, our tiebreaker map will be Kafoy Dostoyevsky. I think hey, I nailed it. But you're at the last that. minute. And I think I got the name right this time. I think time. we did, finally. All right. And for more information, you can check out our social media, uh, Twitter, at Ferris Esports. Uh, you can check us out on our Discord, Facebook, and our website, FerrisEsports.club, if oh. you're so inclined. And just in case you ever want to see more of us, you can uh, see me on Instagram, <laughs> at Cuttlefish57. Or... You know, down on my Twitter, at Dragonics. Or if you actually want to see more of the club members, um, you can actually see us in the Irish... No, sorry. Um, the UC at 11 on Thursdays. Ah, uh, yes, our meetings. Yeah. But enough about us. Let's take a look at our lineup. Oh, yeah. See our amazing players. Hi. What a wonderful play... <laughs> I'm hyped, are you? I am very hyped. Yeah. I'm very hyped. And I'm excited for this game. Uh, we're currently just waiting on everyone to fill in their, their cue into the game. And then we will begin. So, sit tight, relax, as you're stuck with our beautiful faces for the next few minutes. Yeah. It's, it's a, a, a bit much. Kind of. O overstating. Ah, uh, yes. Today, I'm expect. What What are you expecting? For this matchup. Hmm. Well, from Ferris, honestly, probably a lot of surveillance like last game. Oh, uh, yes. A lot of uh, surveillance, gathering intelligence, especially uh, finding objectives early uh, on during the prep phase. Yeah, and like maybe we found them we'll within, like, what, a couple seconds? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Like, it was, seconds. like, dickly so fast. Like, enough that, like, if me or you weren't paying attention, we'd, like... We completely missed it a couple yeah. times. Like, I had, like, oh, um, we found bomb... A or bomb B already? About like two minutes ago or something? Yeah. I'm also expecting a very strong defense once again from Ferris. Oh. They did a fantastic job last game. RD is like restrictedly Ferris. strong. Oh, yeah. It's like an iron wall. Yeah, as, soon, as soon as we switched over from attacking to defense, we just racked up the wins. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, no. Where is everyone going? <laughs> oh, that's not good. People are leaving the queue. What's happening? Oh, uh, we'll, we'll we'll get that sorted out eventually. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, now I'm one. Who who was it that was bringing out uh, the new players every once in a while, breaking uh, breaking away from the uh, the traditional mold for the, unknown. the operator teams? Yeah, unknown. Bringing yeah. out. Uh, yeah, you brought out one of your favorites. Knock, and Fuse. Oh, yeah. All kinds of my favorite operators. Yeah, and Danty Swift a lot too. Oh yes, uh, our <laughs> captain, our captain. Yep. All right. Uh, I found that interesting because he was the one that switched the most, honestly. Oh, uh, yes. So, just got to set up our game lobby here real fast. Fast and furious. And then we will get into a, another fantastic night of Rainbow Six Siege. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'd just like to say, for, for those of you returning from last week's uh, cast, we thank, thank you for coming. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you for dealing with us. It means the world to me, to, to you, to us, yep. everyone here at our... Can we call this a studio? Does this count? It counts. Does this count as a studio? <laughs> it counts. We'll, yeah, say, we'll say it does. We're at Bulldog Studios. We'll s yeah, Bulldog Studios. Let's, let's, let's go with that. Sounds good to me. Yeah. And we actually know the controls. We do. 
our, our last game, we didn't quite know the controls to navigate around the map, but we figured it out. We have the power, guys. We have, we the, have power. the power. We have the power. And just before you guys I know, hope. before the game actually starts, we're not that serious of people, so we're going to make jokes a lot. So. Oh, there's going to be so many jokes. Oh, yeah. And our first map is, of course, the magnificent, beautiful coastline. It's like a little, uh, it's, like, it's like a California home, if you're a celebrity, that is. All right. Yeah, so believe... something none of us can afford. Exactly. Yay. Oh, loans. being college students and whatnot. All right, everyone's moving in. They're on the wrong side. Oof. Get, get Big cool. oof. Over. Over. Unknown. Alan. Chief. Ah, they'll figure it out. Um, should we just rename them real quick, or? We could do that, but I want to watch them suffer. <laughs> that's, that's far more entertaining. There we go. <laughs> Mist has got the idea. Uh, yeah. They're, they're filling it. They're filling it. I guess it. unknown is, n doesn't know the situation? He'll figure it out. <laughs> I have the utmost faith in him. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Let's see. I believe it was, uh, Chief and Unknown who were racking up the most kills last oh, yeah. game. Uh, it was Chief who had, or was it Unknown, 15 kills by the end of the first map. I think it was Unknown. It was Unknown? Yeah. Yeah. 15. That is, that's a record, I believe. Yeah. I think 15 is the highest anyone on our team's ever gotten in terms of kills. There was a quad kill during last one. There was. Uh, there were a lot that of... That was amazing. Th there were a lot of, like, doubles, doubles, triples, and quadruples. Yeah. There was a ton of them, was and I we got a t we got a C four team kill. That was awesome. I was so happy, purely because of the memes. <laughs> all right, all f team Ferris has uh, has gathered in the queue, and we're just waiting on Purdue, uh, which should take place in a uh, minute. I'm or hoping two, to see another I one hope. and actually us catch it, not just like the aftermath. Oh yeah, because we, all we saw was was it in the kill feed. I want to see it up close and personal. Oh yeah. All right. It sounds so dark when we actually say that we actually want to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, 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 we did really well last game. Huh. We kicked butt, took names, uh, and we took home the trophy. There was no trophy. It was still better than a participation trophy. The, the, <laughs> the proverbial trophy, as it were. We got internet points. Yeah. Internet points, kudos, what have you. Doesn't really matter. I did like the idea of I think it was Dan Chief <laughs> was trying to throw the camera into the mesh. Oh yeah, he broke open <laughs> the floorboards trying to stick uh, his Valkyrie cam into the little beams. Oh yeah, he he did eventually figure it out. It took oh. him a little while. Probably trying to match the hit boxes so yeah you couldn't easily get hit. Yeah, that's some it, smart gameplay decision though. Oh yeah, definitely using the fact of the game knowledge to your advantage, like. Hey, mm. I know there's a mesh here and here, and the hitbox is here and here. If I put my camera here, it's very unlikely it's going to get shot. I mean, who's going to expect to find a camera in the floorboards? You Usually usually when you yeah. notice that, you, that you're being spotted from a camera, you usually start looking at the ceilings or for drones. It's like the, it's not obvious. Yeah. Why would you put a camera on someone's feet level? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm hoping for some uh, more adventurous picks. Tactics? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. And it looks like everyone is in. Now, the question is... And ready, I believe? Yeah. Um, All right. The question is, are the so. bands going to stay stable like last time? Oh, yeah. The bands were pretty stable. The band, the bands were consistent, yeah. is what they were. The band, the exact same operators, both maps. Not not a lot of uh, change. They seem to have a very uh, similar strategy as the last... as For the two maps. Yeah. Like... This operator does not match well with my play style. So let's just get him out yeah. of here. Just Don't want to have to deal with Mo with uh, Monty's shield. Yeah, like, let's Echo's get rid of the drone. problem. You know? Oh, they kept, they, they kept Echo, I believe. I think so. All right. Everything seems to be in order. Yep. Just waiting for the... All right. And with that... We have the power to start this thing. Let us begin. A glorious It's time game for a battle. Siege. It's time for a death battle. <laughs> Obscure YouTube references galore. I love that show. It's fantastic. It's All right, let's move into the banning phase. With Ferris coming up first. Banning an attacker. 
Oh. Let's see. Let's see. I'm trying to remember who did they ban the last time. It was like they, they they banned Monty. I know that. Yeah, they always ban. Let's, let's see if they do do it again. I'm rather curious. It might differ depending on re what research they've done on the other team. That is true, or depending on what they think is best for this map. <laughs> no, Monty. Uh, Monty again. Monty. Interesting. Get out of here, you. I kind of want to feel like that we should keep recording like what bands they do to see if this is. We should keep track of that. Yeah, just to see if this is stable. See how, yeah, see how consistent it is throughout matches. Yeah. As for Purdue, we know nothing about them. No. We we found out who we were playing. Will we, we, me and you, we found out yeah. about who, we were, who our team was playing against when we walked in. So we, we know nothing well, about when about you walked our in, team. I rolled in. <laughs> They see me rolling. <laughs> they hate Blackbeard. Oh, oh, BB. I think... No, I don't think Blackbeard was... No, Blackbeard was not banned. Blackbeard, yeah, I don't believe he was banned no. in the last one. So Purdue seems to have <coughs> a special strategy going here. At least at least one that we haven't experienced I guess they're anti-piracy. <laughs> Darn pirates stealing all, our, stealing all our wins and our maps. How dare they? I won't stand for it. All right, and let's see who they ban for the defender. Ella. No, it's Mira. Ooh. Which is a shame. I like playing Mira. Mira Mira's a lot of fun. Her uh her her primary can shred opponents like like a cheese grater. Or, that sounds or like paper to watch. or a paper shredder, whichever you prefer. Like a blender? I, I suppose. <laughs> a, a lead blender made out of bullets. All right, and let's see Ferris is Echo. I think they also. I, I I'm yeah. very used to seeing Chief decide to have his team ban Echo, especially with Bomb. Uh. I'm surprised they didn't ban. I'm surprised they didn't ban Valkyrie. Usually, usually uh, upon banning Valkyrie, they decide like, all right, we don't need to use Twitch. No, not Twitch. We don't need to use IQ anymore. About to say we are using Twitch right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's see. Purdue with Nomad. Knock, Zofia, 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 Gridlock, and IQ. Uh, nope, they changed. Oh, yeah. During this phase, they get to take a gander at the opponent's uh, loadout. And if they so choose, one of their team members can swap out what operator they want to roll with. So let's see if any ch last minute changes are made. It looks like Providence, playing Nomad, is going to be taking the Diffuser kit with them. Uh -huh. We've got Unknown on Bandit, Denith Jaeger. He's really good with Jaeger. Oh, I've yeah. seen I've seen him in action, and I cannot wait to see him pull out the spawn Attackers the spawn peaks. So let's take a gander, if I can remember how to do this. Okay, we know the controls. We're just not used to them. We do we we, we vaguely remember the controls. Bomb. Oh, bomb already! All right. So Attackers let's take a peek here. And they already found bomb A and bomb B. Yep. Oof. What's this over here? Uh, I hear gunfire, but I'm not sure where, where there they are. Okay. Attackers' objective is to defuse a bomb. All right, so we have our attackers moving in very cautiously, I might add. I was trying to remember how to go into first person. It's it's been been a while since since we've been here. A week, a week to be exact. Yes, <laughs> we'll forever be unsure as to what button is supposed to do what. Hey, we might not know the buttons that well, but we found the chief. Yeah, we have found the chief. The man, the myth, the legend. And it looks like Fox is in a in a bit of a pickle here, hiding behind the couch. No, I think he's in a foxhole. I that he is. With one of Purdue's attackers just oh. sitting out the window. Sending in a drone, as it were. Let's see what Elite is up to. I love the pink on that. That's hilarious. I think it's just the tinting of the room, really. It might be. It might be. It may not. Just the lighting effects? Yep, it's just the lighting yeah. effects. This, this room is getting swarmed with drones. Uh oh. And gunfire outside. 
And Alan is taking up residence on the stairs. Gonna try his best to make sure ain't nobody gonna come into his objective room. No. No. He'll be darned if anybody gets past him. None shall pass. None shall pass. Come on, unknown. Right through there. Right through there. Get him. Get him. He's not gonna get him. For he cannot see through the walls as we can. Nope. And, oh, and Alan's gone down, but Unknown is taking revenge. Oof. Not exactly on the same man. Oh, and that is the unmistakable sound of gridlock coming into play. Oh! oh. And with that, the chief is, is down. down. Oof. Oof. A shame. A shame to be sure. What are we doing on that team? Someone let's let's the stick chief. with our boys. Our boys in... I was going to say the boys in blue, but they're the boys in orange, really. Yeah. Fox seems to be taking up residence in this window. Oh, oh, and we are we are down to a 3v2. Oof. Let's just hope that Fox can take care of this man. And he is now the only remaining man on the team. And he's going to have to fight to the nail if he wants to keep a hold of this objective. Oh! Fox won? And Fox takes it! With the clutch! Holy crap! Managing, managing to hold down position long enough and keep the attackers at bay. And they were unable to get inside the objective and plant the diffuser. I know I wanted a fox to get a kill, but I didn't think he would take the whole game. We, oh. oh, I take the back. No. We lost. I completely that misread the situation. That was still close, though. Oh, uh, well. We came close. Not really. I mean, Not really. <laughs> I'm embarrassed now. Yeah. Oh, well. All right. Let's see. We have a, we have a similar lineup. The, we have Purdue bringing in Sledge. Capital. Those are the, those are the two new faces for this round. Huh. I'm so used to seeing Ferris on the blue team. Yeah. Uh, That's why we messed I've, up, guys. I have made a terrible error. We're only human. Aye, that we are. Let's take a gander, shall we? As we watch the prep phase, once again covering all means of soft wall, while also opening up certain areas as to get quick and access found all the bombs. and rotations. Ah, oh, yes. Do as quickly as swiftly gather enough intel to find out where uh -huh. the bombs are located. And it looks like yeah, they that Ferris is deciding not to cover up any of the hatches. Weird at this time. The main it just it's probably just not a, a main concern with this map's layout probably for not. them. So let's see who we've got. <laughs> That's the wrong one. Oh. <laughs> Unknown's taking up residence. Oof. Oh, almost getting the Nomad. Oof. But with that, he has given away his position and is now moving back. That's the attempt to get a better... Oh! oh. That, that, was a, that was just a spot of bad luck. Oh, yeah. The enemy team essentially caught him with his pants down as he was uh, attempting to reload his weapon. <laughs> not, not a fun situation to have yourself in. I know. And we have our captain, chief, the boy, the myth, the legend. Yeah, as he makes his way around, looking for roamers. Well, he, not necessarily roamers. He is the roamer. Just trying to make sure that anybody uh -huh. who's trying to make their way up ain't gonna get too far. I don't know. I want to see if he if he manages to find that man on our left here. But it looks like, but it sounds like gunfire is going on. Oh, and Alan is down. Oof. Making taking this to a five v three. Oh, and Oof, the chief is dude. down as well. Oof. And our D's normally good. Uh, you normally have good defense. This is this is not a strong defensive start for Ferris. No. Diffuser's being planted. And is officially down. Oh, Fox is the only one left. And Fox Ooh. Died. And with that, I guess it was Fox season. Another loss for Ferris on defense. Oh. I'm surprised. 
Our last game, we did so well with defense. Yeah. As we have Providence just sneaking in and taking out our last defender. And with that, we move into round three. Let's see if any... Uh, well, it's still really early. That is true, but it's not necessarily a strong start for Ferris. So let's see here. We have Unknown bringing in Vigil and 10 bringing in the Valkyrie. Hmm. Fox th picking uh, Legion on this one. Oh, no. Okay, oh, Din's deciding Jaeger. Let's see if we can get any spawn peaks out of him. Maybe. And we have Alan with Duck and Mist with Maestro. I find Maestro's gadget to be particularly useful. Hmm. This little evil ball that he just screws in. He just <laughs> plunks it on a wall, any surface, really. And you can, any, and you can just survey your bomb sites. And if anyone tries to come in, plant the bomb, you, it, it has a built-in laser. And it's bulletproof. What what more could you need? It kill people for you? It can. If, <laughs> if, if you let it do enough damage, then it can. It is very, very possible to get kills with, this, with that gadget. And we see a similar strategy. I believe this is the same... Is this the same location as the last I one? I think so. There's another way to find out. It is not. I believe. No. Well, in either sense. They're going to try their darndest to make sure... He, Make sure that they, if anyone comes in, they will hear it with the barbed wire. Oh. And with that, the match officially starts. So let's begin, shall we? Fox is checking cams. Make sure we find anyone a little too careless. Lee's hopping on. A little evil eye. Oh, we dropped someone. Oh! And Alan takes this to a 4v5 with the first kill of the round. Now, usually, not. the usually the beginning of these uh, of the rounds are met or uh, more spec spectating with the yeah. cams, just trying to make sure to find out where your opponent is coming in from. There's also there's also I've noticed with these competitive matches there are two there are technically two droning phases. There's the droning phase during prep time, and then there's the where they uh, essentially have Looks as, like many Alan as many players as they can try and get as much information without letting their drones get destroyed. Right, it looks like Alan's found someone. And Alan's having a staring contest with an empty doorway, as you can see. Yeah, but he just shot his someone. His opponent has run away. Oh, we dropped an another one. An unknown with another kill. Unknown? Oh, and so Mila has taken out the chief. Oof. Oof. Let's see if anyone else is having a better time. But we are still... We still have a slight disadvantage. Or advantage. Oh, yeah. With a 3v4. Gunfire is going off. Ooh, an unknown, unknown drops double. the diffuser carrier. Oof, a double kill, man. Ooh. That was, that was a tricky angle. Oh, yeah. Uh, there is... You couldn't even see him. No. I mean, there's only like a, maybe a couple pixels wide for you to actually. Yeah, it must, must, have, must have been significantly easier to see into the room yeah. inside. Especially, especially since unknown got got capped. Oh yeah. That angle was just terrible for unknown. All right. Oh, and it looks like the attackers are blowing open the ceiling, trying to get a good vantage point. There's nothing more unsettling than having a an attacker above you shooting you through the ceiling. Well, they have the high ground. That's true. It's over, Ferris. They have the high ground. But let's not lose hope yet, as there's still 30 or 25 seconds left in the match. I have no idea. <laughs> I think I think Alan missed his initial stim shot. Oh, that looks like Capitao's handiwork. A bomb has been located. 15 seconds to go. Only 10 seconds, and Ferris takes the first. Takes their first win on defense. Oh. As we see Elite Mist take down the Diffuser Carrier. It looks like he's trying to make some Red Mist. I'm not even going to comment on that. 
All that right, we move into round four. Seeing a very similar operator loadout from Purdue. But this time they're bringing Jackal along. Mm. Jackal will be particularly useful for them to track down the defenders. And on our team, we've got Bandit, Jaeger, Doc, Meister, and Legion. Uh, Denchief really sticking with the Jaeger pick. Oh, yeah. But I, I've, see, I've seen him use Jaeger. I'm just waiting for him to bring out the spawn peaks. He usually doesn't do it until the opposing team has done it. Yeah. Like the, the second some something shifty happens I on the other side. I find that respectful. Start, yeah. It's like, I'm not going to snoop down that low until my opponents do. I won't, look, I won't kick you where the sun don't shine until you kick me. Bombs. Right? I respect that. I'm not going to play underhandedly until you do. Yeah. All right. Move in with another prep phase, and since Ferris won that last that last round, they cannot bunker down in the same location twice. No. Not in a row, at least. Eventually, if gi given enough time, they will be allowed to do it again. All right. Let's see how quickly Purdue actually finds the bombs. Yeah. I mean, Ferris. We have, we have Bandit yeah. setting up shop on these uh, reinforced walls right here. Oh, yeah. And with that, the round officially starts. Let's check with Unknown. Oh, yes, a spawn peeking spot. Oh. And, come on. Oh! oh! Not good. Not good for the Unknown, man. The spawn killed. He Ooh. became a spawn killer. The Hunter has become the Hunted. I guess let's no spawn peeking. Let's see if Chief does any better as he tries to find any uh, would-be attackers. I'm just imagine him like like an old man with a cane. Get off my property! Get off my lawn! Get out of my house! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I do hear a little bit of gunfire. Most likely the attackers attempt to get rid of the default cams. Oh. Don't want any prying eyes. All's quiet for now. But just yeah. give it a little bit of time. Because unlike, unlike our boys in orange here, we can see through the walls. Yep. And that, my friend, is the sound of a barricade going down. Oh, let's see if this angle is, is any better this time around. Oh, it appears Alan knows where he is. Oof. Oof. And he is not backing off. And we are we are now in a five v three situation, which is not no. fun for us. Oh, four v three. Ooh, elite miss got someone. Elite is determined to not let anybody in through that door. Ooh, but it's not going to be good enough for him. Uh, he's not dead yet. If if Doc can get to him in time, <laughs> or shoot him through the. <laughs> The little bookshelf. I mean, a failed flashbang attempt. A little, little more to the left, Alan. You almost got him. Mm. Oh, and Meister's getting himself a little bit of a heal. So we're still in. Oh, we're now in a three v three situation. Tied up. We're getting there. Oh yeah. We're le we're leveling the playing field. However, the opposing team does have more health. Yeah. This is not a good angle. Oh no. As we've seen, as we've already seen, it is not. Oh, a Miss got a double kill. Well, I'll be darned. Wait, he's almost dead too. Ooh. Alan's almost dead. If Alan doesn't want to get killed, he might want to. Oh, he might want to get out of there. Fifteen seconds to go. He's I4C imminent death? death for him. Ten seconds remaining. They're gonna want to get in there fast. Wait, I oh, don't believe they have. Oh, they don't even have the diffuser. I think yeah, I think this is an open and shut match. Yeah, Ferris won. Ferris takes round four. I can't believe was Mist actually got those double kills yeah. while being dropped. Yeah. Uh yes. It's like a diehard moment. Magic man. of the game. <laughs> diehard. <laughs> All right, let's see. What uh, what round five brings us in surprises? Yeah, it went from a we slaughter to actually a tie. Nomad in again. 
Bringing in Sledge. Oh, Valkyrie. Zofia, Gridlock, IQ. And he, he chose Valkyrie last time, but then he immediately switched to Jaeger. Hmm. So let's see, let's see if it sticks. Again. Alan's bringing smoke along this time around. As soon as you said, let's see if it's going to switch. Yep. Ooh, Frost. Ooh. Elite Mist has uh, Frost's Elite skin. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Ooh. And it looks like Providence is switching out Nomad for Hibana. Chris, one of my one of my favorite attacking operators. Now, let the games begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, that quiet part was so tenseful, though. Yeah. Like, is something gonna happen? Well, it's about to. Need to and, and let us begin. Oh. As we move in to round five. I mean, but at least we had time to chill for a few seconds. That is true. Ah, yes, the prep phase. Trying to get uh, easy rotating a rotation access oh. to the stairwell. Oh. You always want to make sure you have a rotation that is uh, open and ready to you. Oh. I find stairs and stuff like that, like... Super hard to deal with when you're trying to play any like shooting games. Uh, they can be a bit tricky if you don't uh, well, approach them with a certain level of caution. No, I'm mean, just moving the camera quick enough. Aye. Right. Now, let's see. I mean, I don't play. What our boys are up to. I'm more of a console player. Once again, unknown taking up the uh, spawn peak spot, uh. but I don't think he's gonna find anyone unless this man decides to be bold, or not. Ah. Uh. Ooh. No, he's <laughs> he he saw the hole. Oh he yeah. He saw the murder hole. He ain't going there. There. Oh. Oh dear. It appears. It appears. Uh. Oh, f Chief. Chief is disconnected. Oh dear. Uh. All right. Uh, after this round, we're gonna take a short break to deal with a. Some technical, technical difficulties. difficulties. Yeah. yeah. Oh dear. This could prove to have a couple complications. Uh, this is what happens, guys, when you play stuff on the internet. Yeah, internet can be spotty, especially on campus. Oh yeah. Last I heard, we were uh, in the m in the process of trying to acquire uh, like team setups, like a, a row, like a table with rows of computers for. More legitimate uh, events, but nonetheless, <laughs> it will be fun. I oh. hope. And now we're in a slight. Because honestly, I would not want. Not to in a fair situation at the moment. Yeah, I would not want to play a competitive. All right, Den Chief has returned, so we may not have to go on break. Uh, however, there still might be issues later on. Yeah, th th this kind of thing can result in a in a rematch if uh, if the teams decide that it hindered their ability to effectively play. Uh, yeah, kind of. And we we might see that here. Yeah. Ooh. And now all we have is unknown. The last man standing. And they're all getting up on it. Oh. Ooh, the frost mat coming in handy on there. If unknown can manage to pull an ace, I would be the so ace clutch. I will be so ecstatic. Attackers recovered the diffuser. All right, he's taking the cautious approach, but I don't really blame him. Fuser is being planted, and if he doesn't want to. Ooh. Yeah. Tough. That's a tricky spot. Yeah. That's a tricky spot. <laughs> Apparently, uh, un unknown, I believe, had the most aces in the Counter Strike Global Offensive League, I believe. That's amazing. Yeah. I'm trying to remember how many it was. Um, I can't recall. Maybe like 15? 15? 15. Dude, the one man army. Yeah. <laughs> Who cares if we disconnect? Uh, it's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. All right, so we care about all our players equally. Right. With uh, if Chief's connection decides to maintain stable, 
I don't think we need to go to a break. No. However, that is something we might want to check up on yeah. during our, our uh, break between maps. But for the time being, it seems like everything is uh, uh -oh. back in tip-top shape. <laughs> Pseudo Newman <laughs> is deciding to bring in Jackal <coughs> as opposed to bringing in an IQ. <coughs> and once again, we have Unknown with Vigil. We have Alan with Doc, <coughs> Elite Mist with Maestro once again, <coughs> Fox with Lesion, and Chief bringing in Jaeger. I mean, at least this is a point system to win a win because the game I play, it's three wins no matter, best two out of three no matter what. So a disconnect is a drop point. Yeah. It's a good thing you have uh, your teammates to try and make up for any... Yeah. Shortcomings your internet connection has. Yeah. All right. We have Denchi put down his little EDD, which kind of looks like a waffle iron press if you flip it around. <laughs> Just these four giant orange circles. And now we begin. Well, he's cooking their last meal, man. Mm. Some waffles for the side of death. Oh, unknown is already gone. Only ten seconds oh. into the first into this round. Well, <laughs> he wasn't unknown. To Where the was other he team. seen? Where was he last seen? It's unknown. How dare you! Took me a second to catch on to that joke. <laughs> that I'm was ashamed. Perfect. I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> Ooh. Chief is not in a favorable, oh. posi favorable position as he scoots his way along the floor with a single leg. <laughs> Oof. It's a good thing they got Doc. And he's back up Bomb and running. Trying to make himself a little cubby hole there. Elite Miss still hunkering down on A site. I mean, at least the DC only lost us one point. Not... The the winning match point. Eh, fair. But it still might be, uh, they, they still might call it into question for a rematch. We'll just have to wait and see. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, this is, this is not a favorable spot for Fox. So he's going to get himself out of there before it gets too hairy. A bomb has been loaded. Don't you mean furry? I hurt. I hurt all over. And I thought I was going to be the one making terrible puns. Yeah, we have to PG, so terrible puns work. Uh, on occasion. Oh, dear. Oh. oh, and Fox is down at the hands of Providence. And, bl and I believe that Sledge was making more holes in the ceiling. And this is not a good spot for Mist. No. Oh, and with that, Again. Mist goes down with shots from the ceiling. Four to two. Oof. Oh, and now got we're a back. Kill. We're in a four v one situation. <laughs> I I don't have high hopes, as the enemy team has pretty good access to bomb to B site, which they are planting. But it looks like he managed to disrupt the plant just long enough. But they are going to go for it again. He juices up. Oh, oof! And Sledge takes him out. So close. Let's get a replay of that. There's the sound of a stim pistol. And just lays him out. Another round goes to Purdue. Oh. We had we had a short run of comebacks. Yeah. But now we're at four to two. Purdue's favor. And now we are switching sides. So let's see if Ferris can pull back on the attacking side. I mean, it could be worse. It could uh, be five to one. Yeah. Uh, the last game we had uh, a similar situation. However, we our Ferris was moving from attacking to defending and racked up the wins. Yeah. But let's let's see if they can do that in reverse this time. Maybe. Let's see. Let's see if their uh, if attacking has improved since last we saw. Yeah. As we have unknown bringing Jackal, Allen with Capitao, Mist with Nomad, Fox bringing Hibana. 
And Chief bringing in Ash. I wonder if they fixed her head hitbox. Hopefully. Maybe. All right. Fox is bringing along the diffuser for this round. Attackers need to locate what was wrong with the hitbox? Oh, there's just there's this thing among the siege community making fun of the, saying that uh, Ash doesn't have a head hitbox for some reason. You you try and get a headshot on her and it just doesn't happen. Weird. Yeah. All all kinds of memes made out of it. Just, just her player model with the head cropped out. I guess someone in the development team forgot something. Yeah, let's 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 hope it got patched. Yeah. You know, all the several years ago when the game was released. Oof. I mean, you could hope. One can only dream. And now, let us begin. Oh. <coughs> Let's see if they, how things go. Let's see if unknown can actually stay unknown to the other team. As he peeks inside the window there. Most likely waiting on uh, call outs, trying to s seeing if <laughs> the room he's about to enter is clear or not. That's, that's another thing you have to be you're gonna have to watch for is the uh, the second wave of drone surveillance comes uh, in that was a nice placement putting it right behind the buckets oh yeah with the with attackers not having access to the cameras fixated all around the map uh, getting your drones in uh, tricky places to survey the area uh, can be very helpful this is definitely where <laughs> map balance comes in big time oh yeah. As Chief moves in through the hatches. Chief just, need, just needs to make a skylight, that's all. Yeah. I, f I feel like this place needs more sun. Just ties the whole place together. Oh, yeah. Along with the shades of red of blood. <laughs> Let's see if that... Oh, and a man goes down. And another double one's kill. gone. And another one's gone. Another one bats the dust. Chief got a double kill, man. Yeah. Chief is mowing through the area. Oh, and is taken down by a lesion mine. Not a fun way to go. No. I mean, he's still alive, though. Yes. Attackers have located a bomb. Is he? Despicable little goo needles. Full of poison and death. Oh. oh. Looks like Alan's got his back, though. Bringing the chief back from the brink of death. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a vantage point on bomb site. However, I can foresee that oh. backfiring. Ooh, Alan with a kill on Poseidon, and then a revenge. Chief is taking out everything be in his way. Yeah. Ooh, and, and through did. the smoke comes a torrential rain of bullets at the hands of Maestro. Oof. And smokes let loose the canister. Making sure that nobody wants to come inside. Oof. Ooh. And Maestro is a fantastic line of defense oh. here. 2v1. And we are having and uh, we we're having a bit of trouble getting past him in his LMG. Yeah. I foresee a terrible run of luck right here. Ten seconds left. Only ten seconds left on the clock. I don't think Miss is gonna be able to get nope. inside. They'll need to kill the oh. entire enemy team. Yeah. Yeah, he was close though. Uh, it, had he had more, just a couple more seconds, oh, yeah. he might have been able to pull off the final kill of the enemy team and win the win the round. However, with the time that he had, that was not going to no. happen. Especially with the heavy hits he was taking, and he didn't even know where uh, where where the second man was. Yeah, wasn't he like right behind? He him? was. He was right on the other side of the doorway. Yeah. So he hugging the wall. The dude could easily shot him in the back. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't get him sooner. Yeah. Unless he was using the other guy as a decoy. Yeah, that's possible. Alright. I mean, that was close, though. Purdue has a lot of elite skins. Oof. And Doc's little mustache right there. Alright, we're bringing in Jackal, Gridlock, Nomad, Hibana, and Ash. A couple returning faces, a couple new ones. Alright. Oh, it looks like Alan wants to bring Capitao to the party instead. Yeah, I think their strategy really focused on having a designated healer. 
attackers need to locate all right let's bomb. see if this attacking round does any better attackers have discovered the location fortifications of going up as our drones try to find means of uh, entry And uh, Alan's got his drone perched up on top of that bookshelf right there. Some good placement. Yeah. Whether or not it's going to stay there is up is uh, up for debate. Yeah. <laughs> As Mila is not having that. No. Sorry, guys. No drones today. And the match begins. Let's see how what everyone's doing. What is everybody up to? Always gotta check your windows. I'm not you going don't want to get the window. Let, let's see if it, let's see if it if, if it goes better for him this time. I uh, know. Getting back on his drone. Want to make sure everybody is safe for entry. Blow open the hatch, and it looks like Mute's jammer is nearby. Yeah, <laughs> might not be a good idea to go in through there. I mean, that's good strategy to know. Oh yeah, definitely. Ooh, someone got knocked. The upside down, re the upside, Alan? upside down repels are really tricky to get a hold of. And Alan is currently down for the count as Unknown continues to survey. And Fox has yet to enter the building. Yes, we're currently in a bit of a quiet period as we try and find means of safe entry. It's a very tiny peeking hole. Ooh, I like the idea of having the peeking hole right below feet level. Yeah. It's not something you're likely to notice. No. Because why would you? <laughs> you're just walking, minding your own business. And all of a sudden, you're going to get shot in the ankles. <laughs> Let's check in on our boy unknown. He's off. He's off his drone. And staking out windows. And he, I believe he's caught sight of somebody. Let's get back to the boys inside. Oh, yeah. <coughs> the quick scope with Nomad's gadget. Ooh. Like deployable little bouncy castles. We just got killed again, man. It was a double kill. Oh, dear. Oof. Triple. Ooh. An unknown goes down. We're left with Mist and Fox. Let's see how well they do with this uh, lack of teammates. Come on, unknown. We just praised you earlier, man. You got this. Just gotta have faith. And Mist takes down uh. one, of the, one of the opponents of Purdue. Come on, Fox. Peeking the window and smoke is not having it. They're gonna want to try and circle around, find a another means. Smoke is no. smoke is on them there. It is not happening. Oh, three v two. We're not. We're gonna come. Close. Five seconds left on the clock. No. And it he he does not have enough time to plant. Ooh. We came close. And round eight goes to Purdue. So close. Uh, Just a few more seconds, honestly. But no cigar. Yeah. All right, let's move into round nine. Match point for Purdue. If, oh. they, win, if they win this next round, they win the map. And it is a mm. steep... <laughs> it is a steep path to victory for Ferris on this map. That's something you don't see every day. Poseidon, oh. bring, Poseidon bringing Tachanka along. Hey! You, no. No. Yeah, I figured. You never really see Tachanka on uh, competitive matches. It's really disappointing, really. I find it funny every time you talk about like a character you actually like playing. You're like, it's like, look at this character I love and who's being entered into this competitive match. Oh, nope, there he goes. Shot in the bag behind the shed. Oh, Please don't. Goody. Please, guys, if you're going to play against this, don't, don't troll. Don't, don't troll Cuttlefish. Don't troll me like this, man. Please don't. Don't do this to me. I'm fragile. He's a fragile fish. I hurt. I hurt easily. <laughs> He's a very fragile fish. 
All right. Back on the first floor. During the prep phase. We have Oscillation setting up his evil eye. Gonna get a nice view of the bomb site. The e Maestro's uh, gadget placement is very particular. You want to make sure you can get a good view of uh, of your s your objective, but just don't be in the room in and of itself, because you don't want anyone hiding in that room. No, because if you can't see them, it's not that camera's not really going to do you much good. No. I mean, it'd be amazing. We got to turn around. It looks like they've opened up this wall on this Weird. side of of uh, a site, which is. I'm not used are to they seeing that. They I'm I'm very curious to see how, the, how that plays talking? into their strategy. I I, I doubt I doubt it's anything to do be any anything to do with being cocky. I uh, ju judging by how many rounds they've won, I'm pretty sure they know what they're doing. I know, but I mean they're so far ahead of us. They'd be like trying to assert dominance. Just just T posing over the entire team. Yeah. Like, I know we're winning, guys, but, like, let's make it easy. Let's have a little fun with them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, one of the most effective strategies you could have is if you don't know what you're doing, it there's no way your opponents can know what you're doing. Right. However, I highly doubt that that is the case with what strategy they're going I with. I mean, when I played and I actually was winning, I almost kind of be on my opponent for a little bit. But my teammates were like, Dustin? Quit. Just quit. Just stop. Just stop. Stop what you're doing. But I wanted to make the chain keep going and going and going. Yeah, I've, I've accidentally killed teammates before. <laughs> On accident, I swear. I don't know, just a, like a sudden noise behind me and I get and I panic. I immediately turn around and just start pulling the trigger. Well, the issue with like mine is if you keep playing the same thing over and over again, it loops all the animations. And I've had it just loop it all. I've over. had it. If you do it too many times, it actually breaks the board by having one. It fills up the board bigger than it should be. Uh, yeah, they've they've got they've got locations down, but they just need to get inside. Oh, clear the room. Ooh, there's a man in that back corner there. <laughs> Ooh, Maestro is a force of nature in in Purdue's hands. Oh yeah. Not letting anyone get in. <coughs> Alright, we're finally making our way inside the building. He makes we're a better door than he does a window. <laughs> make, make ourselves tiny little murder holes trying to find out what's going on in there. Ooh. Ooh. We found a bomb, at least. We have, we have found the bomb. We just need to get the diffuser over there or take out the enemy team, however long that's going to take. And this is not a favorable angle for Alan. No. This unknown moves in with Ash. Fifteen seconds left. Lurking around every corner, speeding their way. Only ten seconds left on the clocks. So if they don't get in there and fast, it is not it's not gonna Double be. Double kill. Oh! <laughs> oscillation with the triple kills. Unknown. Ooh, and with that, oh, Purdue takes the first. W map. Oof. Oh man. Oscillation with ten kills. Oof. Ooh. That was big oof. Maestro. Maestro is quite a weapon in his hands. Oh man. That was that was a steep defeat for us. Uh -oh. That oh. was steep. Yeah. Things, things did not go too well for us in that first map. It all went pretty downhill after the disconnect. Yeah, there was a, that, that very last round. We got to see a triple kill, though. Yeah. Unfortunately, it wrong was, game. Yeah. Wrong team. Oh man. I mean, but good job on Purdue, though. Yeah. Fantastic work on their side. Oh yeah. Let's see if Ferris can. I can't believe pull through on the second when Miss was down. He still got that double kill, though. Oh yeah. Fantastic work. He's on like, this part. I might be going down, but you guys are going down <laughs> with me. <laughs> if I'm gonna die, you're gonna die with me, boy. Oh yeah. All right. Once again, 
If you want to find out more about our lovely teams, our players, fantastic people, beautiful, oh, yeah. beautiful people, go ahead, go ahead on over to PhariseeSports.club. And with that, with the first map coming to a close, we'll be right back after this 10-minute break. Oh, yeah. See you guys in 10 minutes. Peace.